some final detailing now. So I'm going to be applying a nail art transfer. So this one is of a skull with its brain hanging out, which is really quite nice. To apply that, we'll need a wet kitchen towel and also some microsol, which will soften the transfer and allow it to go around all the ridges on the corrugated panel. I'm going to pop the transfer onto the wet kitchen towel and then with the Q-tip I'm just pushing it into the kitchen towel just to make sure that all that moisture is being soaked up into the transfer so that it will slide off the water slide transfer. I'm going to apply some of the microsol with the Q-tip directly onto the surface of where I'd like the transfer to sit and that will also aid the softening of the transfer and making it seal and stick onto a section of corrugated metal. With the transfer moistened, you can just drop it nearby where I want it and then just slide it off with the dry end of a Q-tip and then just start teasing it into position, pushing into the microsole that's already on there. And it will begin to soften and take the shape of the corrugation. We then need to apply microsole to the top surface of the transfer. Again, this will soften it further, its ability to flex around all of those different ridges and shapes that are present on the corrugated metal. It has reactivated some of the weathering effects that we've applied for the rust previously, but that's not a problem. That can only help with making it sit in with the environment in which it's going into. Now we're going to be applying some black humbral weathering effects. I'm going to be applying some scorch marks to the bullet holes which we have in the panel. But just before I do that, I'm just going to be pushing and scratching into the transfer just a little. Just create a few little dinks here and there try and rough up some of the edges and I want to make the bottom of the poster look like it's coming away from the corrugated wall a, a touch and begin to have a few tears and folding up. As you can see the microsole is still very soft on the transfer at the moment, it hasn't set so it is moving around and sliding around a touch Now we're also using micro set. Now this will really toughen the transfer and make sure that it properly hardens to the surface that it's gone onto. I'm just applying that with a small soft paintbrush over the whole surface of the transfer. I'm holding it in place at the top once again, just going in to where those bits where we've roughed it up at the bottom and just trying to make sure that the poster looks as though it's coming away from the surface of the corrugated metal. I want it to be nicely applied across the majority of the transfer but the poster needs to look like it's, it's peeling away and coming up at the bottom. So with the bullet holes I am just applying small amounts of the black weathering powder just around those edges and it is literally just on the surface edges. We still want to keep the, the metal, the raw metal silver where the bullet has actually gone through and pierced through the metal itself. And then once we've got the powder on we can moisten it a little and start spreading out in a sort of star pattern.
and then the final finish is we get something like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry for the interruption. Now, I bet the sharp-eyed amongst you are thinking, come on, Kevin, you're pulling a fast one. I've seen the final piece, and that poster looks a lot more messed up in your version than what you've just shown us on that video. You're absolutely right. So, off camera, I sealed the whole thing with purity seal, as you'd expect to, to do, to lock in all of those lovely weathering techniques and I think we've done. Now, what that did to the poster is it made it really sticky, really gummy. You could, it's almost like chewing gum, like when you get chewing gum stuck to the bottom of your shoe and you pull your shoe up and you get that horrible pulling. It was like that, you could really make it malleable. So that was a really nice happenstance. Um, happy stance, happy stance, whatever the word is. This stuff's good, so spray it over the top and then you can just uh, get something sharp again, like, well, you could be, I've got the, the paintbrush to hand, um, but like I was using, like the little um, file, and just sort of push it around a little bit more. You need to be really careful because it, it is exceptionally sticky, really, really sticky. But that allowed me to get it really, really folded over and messed up right at the end. So. I recommend trying to do that as well. Be very careful, but yeah, it, it's really spot on. The other thing I did is you'll be able to see some blood splatter as well on the final finish. Now I'm gonna show you how I did that with an airbrush and loading up your paintbrush again with some Blood for the Blood God from Citadel Color, their technical blood paint. Now if you don't have an airbrush, not a problem. Just get a nice stiff haired brush like the hog hair again load it up with the blood for the blood god and then just very very carefully just use your finger just to flick it and that'll give you the similar sort of effect not quite the same sort of control as you get with an airbrush but it's adequate for what you need and just have a little test on a piece of card or something like that to, to get the feel for how much blood splatter you're going to be getting off from that blinking pigeon on the roof making all that noise. So let's cut back to the video and the final image. Cheers guys.